Yeah, someone's in a happy mood. <laughs> Not today, baby. Oh my god. What a game. What a game, baby. Dolphins, two and three. Dolphins, win over the Jets, win over the Bills this weekend. The Bills lost, the Patriots lost, the Jets lost. Sorry, man, I'm just really ecstatic here. Can't believe we won that game. I mean, I thought we were going to get screwed out of it from the pass interference call. We, we started off the game with an amazing drive, one of the best drives I've ever seen. I think out of our six plays, I think we only had six or seven, we had four first downs. Yeah. Our main problem in the first half completely was that we missed tackles. Sean Smith missed a huge tackle, I think, on Braylon Edwards. That looked like a 10 or 15-yard gain. The punters! I was going to kill myself with the punters! Twice! Twice! On fourth down, they're about to punt. One, the punter fucking takes it 20-something yards. The other, they hike it straight to Leon Washington, I believe. And he takes it for a first down. I wanted to kill myself. Sean Smith missed tackle Channing Crowder. I I've always been down on Channing Crowder. I've been down on Channing Crowder for years now. And he missed that tackle again in the beginning, which caused another first down. I was like, fuck you. You suck. Get out of Miami. We don't want you on the Dolphins Corporation. And, <coughs> and um, then the next day, next time he gets sacked. So, like, you know, I'm on a Skype call with... Uh, it was my first Skype call with more virus and all those guys without Chase. And uh, I was talking to them and I had the game on like right here in my TV. And I was watching and then Thomas Jones score and they could hear me. They could hear me. I was going, fuck, 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 bitch, damn it. Holy shit, what a bullshit pass interference. Ricky Williams goes for a run and he runs into Greg Camarillo. Uh, very, very stressful game. But once, once it gets to like the 40... I, in my heart, I always thought we would win. Like, once we got, I think once Ricky made that run where he crashed into Greg Camarillo, I kind of had a feeling, you know what, I think we're going to do it. But I thought that feeling last year, and then we threw a pick in the goal line with like five seconds left to blow the victory. But that was the old Chad. This is the new Chad. Yes, probably those peanuts. Chad Henney did throw a 50 yard touchdown. Awesome game. Probably the best game I've seen this year. I don't know, the game we played against the Colts, I also thought was another classic. Except that one ended in much sadder fashion. But that game, you know, wasn't as good because Chad Pennington literally scored two of his touchdowns in less than 30 seconds. And I think he only did it in like two or three plays. Anyways, very stressful game for me. I picked it off to whoever that guy is, live forever and die. Fuck you. He says, stop picking your team. You're going to die. The Jets are going to destroy the Dolphins on Monday night. Fuck you. For one, I don't always pick the Dolphins. I pick the Falcons to win, and I pick the Colts to win the first two weeks. And I picked the Chargers. I was wrong. But I picked the Bills. I was right. I mean, I picked the Dolphins against the Bills. I was right. And I picked the Dolphins against the Jets, and I was right again. So I'm 4-1 and one on calling Dolphins games. So I'd shut your mouth for a second, okay? Huge game. Uh, it would be even bigger if we had beaten the Patriots because they just have beaten the Patriots, so we can't really claim division supremacy. Because I've always said in the start of the season, it's not really that much based on record, in my opinion. It's more based on who's who's dominant in the division. And I would say us, since we've beaten two teams in the division. But we haven't been New England. We've beaten New England for the past five or six years, except for the year that went 17-0. We've always split the decision with New England. Like, every year that I can remember since, like, 2003. I think that every year we've always split the decision. Like I said, except for the year they won 17-0 when they killed us both times. The first time, they killed us, like, 42-7 to at halftime. One of the worst games I've ever witnessed. Uh, so, I wonder what my record is now. I was 12-2 and two last week. How did I do this week? Let's see. I'm on that video. Uh... Ravens, wrong, 0-1. Bills, wrong, 0-2. Panthers, 1-2. Steelers, 2-2. Two two. Cowboys, 3-2. Giants, 4-2. Eagles. Did the Eagles win? I don't remember. Uh, Falcons, 5-2? Yeah, yeah, they killed them. Vikings, 6-2. 
Texans. Actually, I never found out who won that game either. Broncos eight and two, seven and two. I I fucked this up. Let me just count in my head. Oh, Titans! Fuck you! I completely lost all hope in you guys. I am no longer gonna pick you guys every week. You guys are killing my record. Every week, I picked you guys all five weeks, and you guys are just killing me. Fuck you, Titans. You guys suck. Sorry, Brandon. I'm sorry, Instant Classic 8, but I'm going to say it. Your team sucks. I can't take it. I mean, I've been the biggest Titans defender. But you know what? Fuck the Titans. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay, let's try this again. 0-1. 0-2. 1-2. 2-3. 2-4. 5 and 2, 6 and 2, 7 and 2, 7 and 3, 8 and 3, 8 and 4, yeah, 8 and 4, 8 and 5, 9 and 5. I went 9 and 5 this week, not really a good week in my opinion, because uh, I've done better. 9 and 5, that puts my record at 49 and 27. I'm still 7 games behind Spinner Nine, I think. I don't know how much I'm behind Jared. Yeah, 9 and 5. Also, a short burial video of D. Stebbin. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, D. Stebbin didn't watch my last video response to D. Stebbin because it was, it was in my NFL Week 5 prediction. So, you know, he didn't clearly couldn't see the title full way. But he saw the video, my DVD review, where I said, thank you to the Wrestling Fan 1 for getting D. Stebbin off my back. And he made a video, a three-minute video, calling me a troll, calling me immature, that I spam his channel, completely not addressing any of the points I made. And then he sent me a message, and then I posted a comment. What the fuck are you talking about? I never did jack shit. All I did was respond to your videos and post my opinion. Did I insult you at times? Yes, but you started it by insulting me in your first video, which got me, I have a rule, in an argument, I will show you respect if you show me respect. If you don't show me respect from the get-go, I'm sorry. And I said, but I still did show you respect. I subscribed to you. I said, even though you made some weird comments, I said you had some form of intelligence. And still, you did something. I said, post evidence on how I was disrespectful to you. And he sent me a message saying, I'm way smarter than you. You're a moron. I'm blocking you. You are just too immature. I'm going to take the high road. I messaged him back, but you know what? I'm going to say now. D. Stebbin, you are the dumbest person in the YouTube wrestling community. I'm going to say that now. You are the dumbest person in the YouTube wrestling community. Maybe Cop 456 is worse because he... We got to another argument, and he tried to tell me that Sting put over Samoa Joe. <laughs> he also tried to tell me that Kevin Nash put over the X Division guys in 2006. And he tells me Booker T and Scott Steiner put over people every week. Well, let's see. Scott Steiner didn't put over Petey Williams, and Booker T apparently doesn't want to put over Matt Morgan, and they have to change in impact because of it. But D. Stebbin, you're a jerk. I'm sorry that you feel so insecure about losing to a kid. That's clearly what it was all about. But you are one of the dumbest people I know in the YouTube wrestling community. Thank you for the advice, but I don't buy from eBay business sellers. I buy from people who sell you. Oh, your whole video is about eBay, how it's a scam because the people who buy it knew their business isn't run properly. I buy it from people who really don't run an eBay business. Really, they sell like one or two DVDs. I check their history and all, and they sell it used. They say they're used. So I don't really. See your thing there, but whatever, D7, just, just go away. And you blocked me because you thought I was too much of a troll. So you're not going to see this video. So that means no more responses. Okay, well, Dolphins, Jets. We always put on a good classic. We put on a classic both times last year, in my opinion. I thought both games were very enjoyable. The Monday Night Miracle, which I still despise, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. I'm Big Red 310. I'm out, guys. See ya.